Ahoy land lovers! What's up guys? It's Apollo here. I hope you guys are doing well and today we are checking out some naval combat. This is Darth Maud for Napoleon Total War. I don't know exactly what Darth Maud adds to the naval side of things. I do know for sure that they've slowed the ships down to make them more realistic and they've added more ships to the rosters of the factions. Uh, I think they might have messed with the smoke, maybe adding more smoke which is always epic and maybe Maybe also messing with the sound effects to make them feel more real so yeah this is a really really awesome massive naval battle it's extremely immersive and cinematic uh, it really does feel like a genuine battle the tactics feel very lifelike and just it gets very chaotic very fast and I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it it's a very long battle which I know you guys tend to like your longer battles especially if you like naval combat you will really really enjoy this one um, so yeah this is a two verse two I am teaming up with Jackie Fish. Jackie is leading the United Kingdom. Uh, now Jackie's quite the sailor. He's quite the navigator. He's he's pretty good. Uh, maybe it's because he's fighting as the United Kingdom because they're known for their naval history. Uh, but just really quick, looking at some of the uh, major major ships of his fleet leading the way. He's got the uh, he's got a 122 gun ship. It's the HMS Cald Caledonia. Uh, I believe that's Latin for Scotland. Uh, so pretty cool. Got some famous ships here present on the battlefield. Then he's got a uh, heavy first rate 100. 22 guns which is a lot of guns and then he's got the HMS Hibernia uh, which has 106 he also has one of the most famous ships not only in the age of sail but ever this is the uh, HMS Victory which is actually the oldest commission ship in the world uh, it's got 106 guns now I think historically the real ship has 104 uh, but yeah, it's, it's great to have the victory here. Uh, definitely, it's in the back because Jackie Jackie didn't want to lose it in the battle today. So we'll see what happens with HMS victory. Now, I am, I am uh, fighting as the United Kingdom's longest ally. I am fighting as the Portuguese. Now, I don't know much about the Portuguese naval history. But if we're looking at the game, they're not that great. <laughs> uh, their roster is pretty limited. Uh, in fact, my biggest ship has uh, 86 guns yeah so that's a big difference so compared to all the other factions that you're gonna you're gonna be seeing here today uh, I'm pretty much outclassed but hopefully uh, my crew and my captains can overcompensate for that and use their skill to defeat their opponents we will find out but yeah here's some of my ships um, I don't know if any of these are historical but yeah I got the 86 gun it's the uh, ship of the line I mostly have ship of the line uh, but I do have some frigates in the back with like 32 guns I'm gonna use try to use them for their speed and you know outmaneuver enemy you know larger ships ships and whatnot uh, but yeah mostly ships of the line let's now move on to the opponents we've got a combined force of Ottomans and French uh, so leading the Ottoman fleet by the way good guy the Ottoman fleet is nasty now again this is another faction I don't know too much about naval history for this faction uh, I don't know if the Ottomans had very unique looking ships uh, looking at this game here it's very European so maybe they just bought European ships and painted them green or they just had a very similar style which I honestly wouldn't be surprised uh, but yeah, you can see he's got some ships of the line with 122 guns. I mean, that's going to be a tough ship to take on, especially for my 86 gun ship. It's it's going to get pretty intense. And uh, leading the Ottoman Empire is uh, Sultan Eddard Stark. He also has a he's a fellow uh, Total War YouTuber. I have a link to his channel down below. Um, but yeah, I think he's uh, his ancestry is from Turkey, or he might even be from Turkey. So pretty cool leading his uh, ancestry uh, into battle. And then of course we have the French. I mean, this would not be a proper naval battle if we didn't have the two classic heavyweights, the French versus uh, United Kingdom. Now the French not exactly the best when it comes to navy, especially compared to the United Kingdom. But he's got some really nice ships and he also has a 122 gun ship of the line so again I am the only faction that does not have any ships over a hundred guns which is a little uh, a little concerning but uh, yeah let's uh, let's go ahead and just get started with this fight all right guys so the battle is underway and I just wanted to take some time looking at my deployment and just kind of talking about the strategy I'm I've got going into this battle so you can see I've got two lines of ships on the right side these ships are my bigger ships they're gonna absorb most of the damage and kind of hold the front line 
And then I've got more of my frigates and the smaller ship of the lines with like 60 guns. Uh, so they're going to be more of a maneuvering force and they're going to be you know, like a support force essentially. Uh, so yeah, my ships are moving out and uh, I'm going to go... Uh, well, you see that the wind is blowing east. So I deployed west. Uh, that way I can kind of curve towards my ally and kind of join up with Jackie Fish. Jackie is just going dead straight because I think he... Uh, he doesn't want to go east just yet. I think he kind of wants to get a little bit closer to his French opponent. So yeah, he's just kind of going forward. He's got a he's got a nice uh, formation as well. It looks like he's got one solid middle line with some support ships on the side. Now, if we look at the deployment of the French, uh, they are going for more of a, a cluster up force. Uh, the Ottomans are actually going the opposite direction of the wind which I was quite happy about but I was surprised at the same time so it seems like he's pushing up his lighter ships so he's got a lot of frigates like 38 gun ships uh, I think he's also got like a, a brig yeah so really small ships headed for my heavier ships so I thought this was great this was a huge mismatch so I'm very very excited already like this is looking good for uh, for my fleet so yeah, I like the matchup there. So already turning east, and I believe this brig right here is going to open up this battle. He's going to start the battle with the first volley. 26 guns. Let's see if he uh, actually gets a shot here. Yep, there it is. There it is, the first shot, and that's just going to... It's going to hit my side. It does a little bit of damage there, but it is just a brig. And I think we're going to answer back pretty soon. So that was it there. The first shot. There we go. Woo! I love it. Just the smoke in the epic atmosphere. The first volley from the Portuguese army. And they're already uh, firing back. Just zoom out here. Look at this, guys. I mean, it's just, just so epic. The smoke and seeing all these ships. It, like I said, it's very immersive. It just drags you into the time period. And it, it feels like we're actually witnessing a battle uh, from that time period. Also, you know, I don't really... Like, this is... Uh, this is late, only recently, of what I'm trying to say here, only recently did I really get into uh, this this time period time period of naval combat. Uh, I've never really been in, too into it. I always thought it was cool, but uh, yeah, I've never actually really took the I, I I never took the time to learn about it about the different ships and the different like famous battles. Um, but yeah, lately I just got this like itch to learn so much about it. So you're definitely going to be seeing more naval combat, not only in Total War, but I might look into uh, different games like um, uh, like Black Wake, uh, which is a pirate game, and, and stuff like that. Just It looks really awesome. Uh, so yeah. So you can see he's kind of turning with the wind with my ships. My ships are just they're doing a great job. Shooting about 40 guns there against the enemy. And the smoke is already getting pretty crazy. Look at that. That is just so... It's like those paintings, man. Over on the other side, though, things are opening up as well. Jack Fish, he's also getting some supporting fire on the Ottoman fleet. He's got his uh, fifth rate 32 gun. Pretty much like a frigate. Uh, and then he has um, the third rate 80 gun. Even got some marines on there firing their, their muskets. Uh, so, yeah, he's turning west. Or, I'm sorry, east on the French. So he's basically doing the same thing. The French are trying, I assume, trying to quickly turn as well. But if we look, look at this. The clumping of ships here is not going to be good for the French. They're going to take a lot of damage from Jackie Fish's uh, fleet. And now he's got his line kind of moving west as well. So pretty cool stuff going on. Ooh, there's, oh, there's a nice volley. Beautiful. Good hit from the French trying to answer back. They definitely got to turn this battle around pretty quickly. Let's head back over here. Or, oh, yeah. More and more of my ship of the lines. They're getting in range of the Ottomans. It almost feels like this brig is trying to cut my navy off. Cut, you know, cut the line off. Getting a little laggy here. Uh, we, might, we might encounter some lag because of all the smoke. Uh, which is a little unfortunate. But it, it does seem like it, it, works, it works itself out. The Ottomans, yeah, look at this bold brig. Oh, and the shots. Oh, my God. Ripping through his sails, crushing the uh, the body of the ship. And I think right, let's see, I don't know. 
it's uh, they're concerned of casualties are losing slightly and I'm gonna I'm gonna hold right here for a second get ready for this like burst shot right this is gonna be perfect watch this guys so I've, I'm lining up that they're reloading their guns they are so dangerously close boom just point blank almost Oh, and he fires back, but they really stand no... This is a mismatch. They stand no chance against my 86-gun ship of the line. Uh, so just like that, the crew surrender. And that's actually pretty common in this style of warfare. You know, often we think that these ships sink quite a lot, but actually, uh, they're pretty sturdy, and the cannonballs are fairly small. So I think with the cannonballs, they're not there to sink the ship. They're there to... Uh, destroy the enemy cannons of the ship and also take out the crew because you don't you don't necessarily want to destroy your enemy ship because you want to take it for yourself because these ships are uh, very they're very expensive and they take a long time to uh, to build so if you can just conquer them capture them and you can just put them right in your navy so yeah he's uh, he's taking some heavy heavy damage from my ship of the line Look at that, just beautiful, epic scenes here. I love it, this frigate, I mean, they're just getting destroyed, guys. Now, over on the other side, this is where I make a mistake. Uh, my supporting fleet, my supporting line of ships, they are too dangerously close to his ship of the lines that have 122 guns. Uh, so yeah, not exactly the best situation. My admiral, he's opening fire on the ship of the line with 50 guns. I do need to get him out of there. Uh, but okay, this is where things get really interesting. Uh, so you see this gap right here? Uh, this is actually Jackie Fish's idea. Jackie Fish, he wanted me to push through this gap and make almost like an S, S shape. So if I push through here, I'll be able to surround the French as Jackie pushes onto the east. So if I can push through the center, it would take a little while because I'm not technically going with the wind, but I'm not going against the wind. So I push through this gap and then I turn again and I'll be able to go with the wind and surround the French. So that's kind of like our, our strategies, dividing their two fleets and uh, working together. Uh, but a lot of Ottoman fleets are already surrendering to the mighty ship of the lines of, of Portugal. We do have uh, some troops boarding over here in the center of this uh, French-British fight, this naval fight. We've got a 5th rate versus a 38-gun 30, a frigate, so it's, it's actually quite close, but I think the French are actually going to take this one. They've got about 20, 20 more crewmen. Let's go ahead and zoom in on some of the fighting here. Not too close, though, because <laughs> it looks pretty, pretty goofy when they jump across, but, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to do a, you know, a boarding animation of a game of this scale, you know? Yeah, those two ships are going at it. And now we've got the Black Prince, the, the 98 gun. I think he's trying to come over here to support uh, his fleet that's getting uh, boarded right now. Oh, he's getting hit, though. He's going straight for this 80 gun ship of the line from the French. Uh, you know what? I think he's going to go in between the two ships. Oh, my God. This, this part is epic, guys. Check this out. This is so cool. Uh, so, yeah, he's headed straight through this gap. And what he's going to try to do is he's going to try to just get a really nice burst fire on this 80-gun ship of the line. And also get a good fire on uh, this 38-gun frigate. Oh, you can see he's opening up, though. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the risk you're going to have to take. Of course, he's going to open up point blank. But he's going to fire back. Oh, my God. Oh, there it is. There it is! Holy shit, that was that was crazy. Uh, so that was just so awesome. The Black Prince will go down in history uh, for such a bold move. Now, boom! Now he fires on the other side. Whoa, glitchiness! <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> oh well, there there goes the immersion, guys. Uh, but yeah, that was a pretty bold move there from Jackie Fish. Jackie is now uh, starting to surround the French, and you can see my fleet still making their way through the center of these two uh, two fleets and uh, starting to support Jackie in this battle. The balance of power is still in favor of the French Ottoman Alliance, uh, but it's a little bit better compared to the beginning of the battle. The crew walking around. 
They seem pretty, like, calm for the fact that we're cutting two fleets in half. And we, we potentially could fire on both sides. Guys, so awesome, man. Looks like I'm, I'm trying to get a shot here on the French. Yeah, I'm just trying to take out these French uh, fleets, trying to help out Jackie. And that way we can combine our forces and then take out the Ottomans. But yeah, Jackie's side is getting a little bit uh, less organized. Uh, it's very chaotic. Just ships everywhere. Oh, the Marines are also opening fire, trying to take out the crew or maybe enemy Marines. Man, the shakiness. I love it. The Charlemagne. That's cool. 80 gun ship of the line. She's a beauty. But she's gonna die. So, so far, uh, a lot of, I think really just a lot of weaker Ottoman ships are going down. Um, the bigger ships are still very healthy. And this is, uh, this is where the battle starts to go down south for me. Uh, this is getting pretty bad. Uh, oh, yeah, that was a good hit where I've got my weaker ships taking on these like big ship of the lines with 122 guns. Just the, the, the mismatch is not, is not good. It's not in my favor. Uh, so what I'm just really doing is just stalling. This is, uh, this is just like a suicide force. I am getting my general, my admiral out of there. He's uh, kind of using the, uh, the other ships as a meat shield. I think uh, the Ottomans were trying to pursue my general, my admiral. But, um, I don't think he's going to be able to chase him down. Some good hits. Look at all that smoke. Look at it. Just zoom out. Look at this. Just so awesome. And my fleet is still very much intact. I, I, I definitely took some damage, but this is all working out nicely. You can see I'm trying to support the other fleet. We do, we do get some pretty good hits. Oh, do we? Yeah, we took out some sails, it looks like. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, you know why? Because, okay, this is what I'm... I completely forgot about this. Um, but I am using Chain Shot right now. Now, the whole purpose of Chain Shot is to destroy the sails of, uh, of your enemy. And these are such big ships that if they don't have proper, like, wind support, they are not going to be able to travel uh, very quickly. And they will easily be outmaneuvered. So, even though my ships might go down here... Uh, I am going to be using a chain shot, and I'm going to soften these ships up as much as possible. Alright, look at the mini-map too. You can see the, the line of my ships coming over. It's just so epic, man. That's just... I love it so much. It's just so great. Uh, but I am starting to turn around. Oh, yes, indeed! We got one of the ships. I believe that was Jackie Fish's ship. Going, just exploding there. I believe the magazine uh, somehow sparked up and just blew up. Uh, the French are trying to rebuild some of their ships over here, doing some like quick construction. You can see just wood, patches of wood, just trying to, uh, you know, uh, put up their defenses and close up some holes. He still has his HMS uh, Cal, Del Cal, Cal. I never know how to say this one. HMS Caledonia, uh, it still has 109 guns. Uh, it's it's taken some damage. I mean, it's it's lost about 10, 15 guns there. So, um, you know, it's uh, or not 50. You know what I mean? It's it's taken a good amount of guns, but it's still very strong. But the French are just Jackie is completely surrounded. The French, along with my fleet that's coming over, uh, just so awesome. Uh, but yeah, the French just they're just everywhere right now that's that's the real issue and uh, ship after ship they're taking their turns cutting down these uh, French uh, like 74 gun ship of the lines Boom. nice even the Marines are f opening fire so awesome man just so awesome just it's so lifelike I love the realism. Oh, now we got a frigate that's just in the chaos. Oh, I think he's getting shot by uh, yeah, the 122 gun. Oh, that's going to be rough. Oh, my God. The splitter is going everywhere. They're down to 50 crew. It's a beautiful.
beautiful ships here. Ooh, some good hits on this ship. Oh, we do have a ship on fire over here. It's a fifth rate. I don't know if it's going to explode. The crew is abandoning ship. Oh, look at that. It's on fire, guys. That is... Oh, it's just everything is catching a flame. I've got a bad feeling about this. I feel like it's going to explode at any moment. We'll see. Maybe it'll just sink. I mean, the magazine for the ship is usually in the safest area of the ship. Uh, so, obviously, you don't want gunpowder. Oh! There it was. Finally. I was just kind of stalling there, talking about magazines. Uh, but yeah, obviously you don't want, uh, you know, a very vulnerable part of your ship uh, in a dangerous area. He's got the HMS Victory. Uh, just kind of going the outskirts of this battle. Just looking for opportunity to snipe out some ships. But yeah, overall, I think the French fleet, I think they're down to like three, four ships. And then here comes the Portuguese uh, reinforcements. And he's got two fleets out here. 80 guns, ship of the line. Firing some uh, some shots from the uh, front. These are just small little uh, cannons. So yeah, this is beautiful. I, I just can't stop looking at this long line. I think I told uh, one of my ships at the very end to just kind of hold where they are and to face this French ship, the 74-gun ship. We are outclassed, but I think we've got, see, 54, he's got 42. So technically, we do have more guns in this ship. They've taken a lot of damage. And I guess I'm actually going to keep moving forward, keep going to surround the French, and just kind of leave the Ottomans behind. But yeah, you can see the aftermath of what's going on over here uh, with my kind of diversion force. Oh, no. <laughs> So, I mean, it's kind of, as you guys know I love artillery, right? And it's actually kind of surprising that it took me so long to get into these naval type battles because it's all artillery. Like, one ship would have more artillery than an army. <laughs> it's crazy. So, yeah, he's starting to surround my ship, but they're, they're not going to go out without a fight. This is going to be nasty, guys. I can already feel it. I bet he's just waiting. Hold. Get ready. Look at, look at, you can see the crew. There's like no protection for the crew anymore. You can see them loading up the cannons. Oh, God. Oof. Very unfortunate. And you can see my ship is taking a lot of damage, and they're probably pretty soon going to surrender. Uh, so, thankfully, I've got my Admiral. He's going uh, over to the, the main army. You can see the Ottomans are actually already pushing some uh, some ships. I've actually done quite a bit of damage to them. Uh, this one's down to 109 guns. This one's down to 89 guns. So, yeah, they, they definitely have taken some damage. Oh, he's going after my Admiral. Oh, get out of there, Admiral. I swear to God, if you die at this point of the battle, I will be so upset. <laughs> Oh, now we got a little bit of a, a little bit of a fight here. The French are actually kind of cutting off our line. Uh, he's got an 80 gun ship of the line, and I've got an 86 gun. I think, I think I'm gonna open up fire here pretty soon. He's very close, so we can do some pretty heavy damage. Yeah, take that. That's about 40 guns opening up. We got another ship kind of lining up here as well. So basically, we're just cleaning up the French at this point. Just trying to take them out before the Ottomans show up as a relief force. We really don't want any of these ships to stay alive. Uh, he's got this one here. It's down to 71 guns, though. It's a, originally, it was a 122 gun ship, but it's pretty banged up. Yeah, look at that. Whenever you can see the crew just so easily like load up these cannons, uh, it's never a good situation. You can see the balance of power is now in our favor. So, so far, this strategy is uh, paying off. That little uh, cut between the two fleets, the fact that we were able to separate their fleets and team up together, 
uh, was a pretty pretty nice strategy. So yeah, I definitely love the pace of these fights because that was, I mean, this is really, I, I think this does a pretty good job of, like, it's a really good simulation of, of the naval combat. It's not perfect by any means, but uh, the speed of the battle, because naval battles, it wasn't about, uh, like, in this, at least in Napoleon Total War, naval battles are not about how fast you can micro, but rather uh, just positioning. And I, I really, really like that. That's why I like siege battles, because I feel like siege battles are that way too. More about positioning and, uh, you know, uh, keeping am you know, making sure you have ammo and just, and uh, yeah. So, I don't, know, I don't know what else to say, but yeah, these ships were not fast by any means. I mean, like, relatively speaking, they were fast. Uh, the fact that they were so massive and they carried a bunch of cannonballs, and they carried a bunch of food and water for the crew. Oh, there we go, good shot. Um, so I don't know the average speed of these ships, but I do know that the HMS Victory, it was, let's see, where is that? Where is the HMS? Where is it? Oh, it's way in the back. Yeah, he's keeping keeping the ship on the, uh, the outer perimeter of these naval fights. HMS Victory would go about 10 miles per hour. Uh, in, HMS Victory was considered fast, at least for a, uh, a, like, a ship of its size. So, maybe ships compared to the HMS Victory's size, maybe it's like 7 miles per hour or something like that, you know? Uh, who knows? Um, but I know they weren't, like, they're not going like 25 miles per hour or anything like that. Maybe the smaller ships, but not these. And, and again, it depends on the wind, too. Uh, but yeah, I'm still trying to break this French ship. You can see it's got a lot of chevrons on, so the morale is pretty solid. Oh, good, good answer back from the French. Wiping out a good chunk of my guns and my men. So yeah, let's zoom out. You can kind of see the uh, the mini-map. We've kind of circled around all, all around the French. The Ottomans are still making their way this way. Uh, trying to use the win a little bit. That's that's the main issue I think we have for the rest of this battle is the fact that we have to go against the win. Um, so we're, we're going to try to maneuver the best we can to uh, try to... I think what we'll do is go against the win wide, right? And try to get like right here and then turn back around and then go east again and then kind of fire from the side trying to take out the Ottoman fleet. Uh, but yeah, right now we're just kind of regrouping. I got my ships in their line. I, I probably have to break this line formation. Oh, there's some nice supporting fire. Oh, yes. Nice. <laughs> Surrender, man. Just, just, yeah, finally they surrendered. All right. So I think that's it for the French. I'm pretty sure that's everyone. No, no, no. There's one more. Yep, right here. We've got uh, the 74 ship the line. And look how patched up it is. It's so bad. The wind, they could use the wind, but we've got this, uh, this 98 gun close by. The crew, oh my god, look at the carnage. Look at that. All over, just dead bodies. The crew is down to 155, so not bad. I assume most of the crew on the top there died. Oh yeah, he's trying to repair. He's, he just won't give up. He's like, repair the ship. Like, sir, we've already patched up this, the ship twice. We have no more wood. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Just patches of wood everywhere. Not a very sexy ship anymore. They're just firing off into the distance, trying to take out the Black Prince. Black Prince, also, look at that. Oh, my God. He's seen some action. The guns are kind of glitching out there. You see that? The guns look... I don't know. They just look weird from this angle. So, yeah. They, the Black Prince was the ship that was, like, in between two ships. It was a nasty situation. So, over this way, I think the Ottomans have two ships way far off over here. Most of my ships have surrendered. But that's okay, because if we win the battle, we'll get those ships back. You know, it's not a big deal. Uh, a lot of his ships are repairing. I think we're kind of just in the repair phase. The final stages of this battle... We'll go ahead and just kind of fast forward a little bit. Uh, you can see the French fleet. Actually, let's just do normal speed. 
There's still going to be some pretty intense combat here. I guess he's kind of going after my 64 gun uh, ship of the line. They're wavering though. Yeah, you can see he's wavering. We just need one good volley. They have 33 guns. Originally had 74. They had two. Originally had 207 crewmen. Now they're down to 91. Yeah. So I really like. I wish there was a a game. Like I just wish they focused more into the naval stuff because. I feel like there's a lot of copy and paste, like ships. It would be really cool to make this like really authentic. Like the ships we do have do look really authentic. They look fantastic. Uh, but again, I feel like you know if they spent more time just creating more models and having the unique markings and like the actual names on the back of the ship, that would be so awesome. Uh, but I think did they break? Still, wow. They took a pretty massive volley. Volley there. They're gonna answer back. Come on, guys. Load, look at them. Loading up their uh, their guns. I'm on fire back. Give them hell, boys. They're getting ready. Pretty soon. Now, I think for the British, it would take them about 90 seconds to reload their cannons on average, which was, uh, I think, the best in the world. There we go. Now they're routing. But they're not shattered. They haven't surrendered. There they go. They surrendered. So that's it. At that point, GG to the French player. I believe his name is Swift Elite. Uh, he did a good job there, but that is the end of the line for his fleet. And the next, the, the final stage of the battle, excuse me, the final stage of the battle is underway. We've got the HMS, uh, HMS Caledonia, who is kind of holding back three Ottoman ships, at least two of them. So yeah, I'm trying to turn my fleet around. Again, we're going against the wind, so uh, it's actually quite diff difficult to get our ships over to that side. And it's also kind of difficult to see who's still alive because there's a lot of surrendered ships everywhere. But if it's not flashing, that means it's still in the game. It's still good to go. I think we're having a little bit of a collision here. Watch out! There we go. Just miss. It's a good thing is some of his ship can go through my ship. <laughs> it's a very good thing. We got two more Ottoman uh, ships going over this way. He's repaired a lot of them, uh, so they're pretty, they're pretty patched up, which is going to help him out later on in the the battle. The Ottomans, if you look at the balance of power, they have, uh, they've got quite the challenge uh, for the rest of this fight. They are heavily outnumbered, but if if the Ottoman player, if uh, Sultan Edward Stark, if he could. Um, Focus down, like really keep this fleet together and focus down the uh, the scattered fleet that we have right now. He might be able to slowly but surely take out our fleet. Uh, so it's still still got a long ways to go. We got some some like sharpshooters here, from, like the crow's nest and stuff. There we go, here we go, more British fleets coming into range. The Black Prince. I really hope the Black Prince makes it because uh, it's been through a lot. So close to victory. I got a couple uh, ships going up, going out. It's gonna take a while because my fleet is so far away and we are going against the wind. Not sure what these ships are doing. Alright guys, so I decided to uh, go ahead and uh, cut a little bit there because we're just basically waiting for these ships to get in position to really start killing each other. Ooh. HMS Victory now in the front line. So you can see the Ottomans have pushed even more like uh, northeast uh, and the British are there to meet them. We got two British fleets, the Black Prince and the HMS Victory trying to hold them off. And we've got this fleet. Remember the HMS Cattle? I, I never get this one right. I'm so sorry. Cattle, Cat Caledonia. 
Uh, well, they were able to kind of cut off the two ships here so they kind of again divided the ottoman fleet so the ottomans can't really concentrate all of their firepower into one situation you know one area um so um yeah the british are going to try to take advantage of that we also have some clumping going on 50 gun ship of the line kind of getting in the way of this 122 gun now down to 83 guns HMS Victory doing a great job. Very healthy. Uh, it has 92 guns left. I mean, it's pretty much all of their guns. And back here, the Ottomans are also going south with a fleet. Uh, I do have some uh, Portuguese ships kind of aiming the right way. Being able to get some shots off, some hits. I do have two other ships headed that way as well. So I got the St. Sebastian, 74 gun. And I have San Philippe, fit, fit, I don't know. I don't know. I don't speak Portuguese. In case you didn't know. Yeah, the two ships are just kind of like, hey! Hey, you did well out there. Thanks, you too. Battle's not over yet, boys. Yeah, they have Southern accents, Southern American accents. <laughs> So you can see just like the last remaining of these ships just fighting in a graveyard full of ships. Desperate, desperate last stand. Ottomans will just not give up. There we go. Look at that. They are breaking a lot of the Ottoman ships. And, uh... You know, honestly, at this point in the battle, guys, I feel like uh, it's pretty hopeless for the Ottomans. Uh, we do tactically just take them out eventually, uh, but because we're down to such few ships, it does tend to get a little grindy, just kind of waiting for these ships to get in position. So uh, I think what I'll do is just kind of fast forward to the end. Uh, again, this seems like... If you look at the bounce power, there's no way he's going to turn this one around. We've got tons of ships left. I've got lots and lots of ships over here. Uh, so I think I'll just kind of fast forward and uh, get you guys to the end results All right guys, so here we are at the end of the battle I hope you don't mind that we really skipped over a lot there It wasn't exactly the most exciting part of the battle We were really just running down random Ottoman ships that were scattered around the graveyard of uh, Surrendered ships. I think they're down to one more and the ship right here is kind of using uh, the two French ships as like a shield against my Portuguese uh, ships, but uh, yeah, uh, again, like, it wasn't super, super cinematic, but here we go, that's finally the ship surrendered. I think realistically, after defeating the French, the Ottomans would have been like, yeah, we're not gonna win this, and we're gonna, we're gonna get out of here, but yeah, here's the kills, I had 13 ships, I had not the smallest, but not the largest, uh, we lost one ship during that engagement, and we killed two ships, uh, overall, we got a good amount of kills, I think, oh, nice. Got some great kills on the very top, did very well, got some good experience. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with my Portuguese fleet. I think uh, we uh, did some pretty good maneuvers here and there. And we were outmatched, you know, our fleet was outmatched, but Jackie Fish did a great job as well. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's the battle, guys. I hope you enjoyed this naval combat. Expect more naval stuff coming out soon. I'm just really into it right now, so... Uh, definitely going to be uploading some pretty cool stuff. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, a comment, share, and of course, subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.